Oh, are you expecting like some intro or something? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through the mystery door and unravel the mystery behind the door. So now we are out in the main room once again. You remember that right there? Oh. Where'd that come from? Oh, you! Another one of you! <laughs> you know... You know... You know... Might as well snipe them. Wow! Did that just one-hit kill him? <laughs> that... So powerful! <laughs> It wastes a lot of arrows and bombs, though, it's, so it's kind of counterproductive in some ways, but at the same time, you find them, in, you know, like in chests and drops everywhere. It just went right off the ledge. <laughs> they just can't keep their feet on solid ground, apparently. Alright, so we're up here. What do we want to do up here is the question, though. It looks like we want to go over here, and then up over to this ledge, I assume. And then claw shot up there, I hope. And we are in something new. I think. Yes, definitely something new. <laughs> I was hoping that I didn't flub it and go into a room that we've already been in before. Um, this looks similar to the uh, entrance way, but it's not. Uh, make a um, hook shot target there. Hook shot, dang it! Oh, long shot! I mean, it's a claw shot. Oh, I'll never, ever get that right. At least on the first try. Oh, no, 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 That's a good prize. Very good prize. <laughs> All right, so I can use that chandelier to go over. Good. I'm gonna have to wait for it to stop moving though in order for me to Get across there safely. I should take a look around here. Look at the finer details of this dungeon. You can see the attic, which is, you know, weathered out. They're probably a cave in from all the snow in this area. Snow gets really heavy on roofs, and that can happen sometimes. And. Wah! Little treasure chest! What do you have inside? The small key. That is delightful. You know what? I am tired of furniture. Furniture has gotta go. <laughs> I just love destroying this house with this fallen chain. It's what, just one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why this dungeon is my favorite in the game. Because you can just screw around with so many different things in this place. I don't know what the paintings on the walls are though. It, it doesn't really look like they were... They're, they are referencing anything. I, I just, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've noticed them many times before, but I can't picture what they're picturing. Maybe the texture is too blurry or something like that, or maybe it's maybe it's an abstract. <laughs> um. Oh, I see. This lead. Ow, oh, my face. This leads me back over to the side. I can then jump across to here. If I want to, I can destroy more barrels, but I blew them apart before. Barrels are known to repair themselves, if you didn't know that. You gotta be careful with that. So back in this... Oh, jeez. Will I be able to get through here without getting frozen? Apparently so. Just as long as you run quick enough. This is the locked door that the key is used for. And here we are. Oh, my. <laughs> Is this far enough away to be safe? Well, I can destroy furniture again. Furniture is overrated. We stand around here. <laughs> no one sits while playing video games, because we have Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> I guess the Freezer does not like Dance Dance Revolution. Alright, I'm gonna... Sneak around to the side! Yeah, I see how this works. You're supposed to get him to spew out all the freezy air that he has, and then on his recharge time, throw the ball and chain at him. So I want to get your attention. 
I'm going to go around you like this. And would you look at that? Oh no no no! Oh no you don't! Oh no you don't! <laughs> oh jeez! Almost got caught in the backlash of mini freezards. Even in death, they are dangerous. All right, so we got another door here. Well, we've got some doors here. This is actually blocks. Now I remember it. This leads back to, yeah, the room with that cannonball. You see, you can't throw a cannonball up here or jump with the cannonball to get up here. And that's why you need those blocks down. Yeah, that was the thing that I forgot about in this room. So, now that we have what we need... Oh, jeez, my, my arrows are combined. <laughs> I can't use them that way. I mean, I can't use bombs that way. And... Boop! That blows it right into the next room. Oh. Seriously? Out of batteries again? How many times in this walkthrough... Is this going to happen? <laughs> Hold on. It's a good thing I had another one charged and on hand ahead of time. Alright, so now that these blocks are here, you can just climb right over into the other room. Obviously, you couldn't push the blocks from the other side because, you know, they were above your head and whatnot. And luckily for us, this handle is down already. It's very nice. And how many times am I going to roll my face into things that I want to open or grab onto? <laughs> Alright, this, this Wii Remote is a lot colder because I haven't had my hand on it. Okay, so I'm going to plop this down and get myself a cannonball. And yeah, you really had to take that cannonball for quite the journey to get it to here. So, where do I want this cannon to face? Do I want it... Probably over there to kill that guy so I can climb up the ladder. Because you see that this cannon is a diagonal cannon. So it's got four directions that it can face. It would go over there, over there, and all, all those spots, you know, you can kill the enemies off without any issues. But that freeze art over there, you cannot. So, push it over two slots. There we go. Grab that cannonball and send it flying. And now we'll finally be able to see what is over in that room. Boop. Bingo! Uh, I thought those mini freezards might get in the way, unless they like hop off the edge or something like that. Uh, but otherwise, it looks like I can just like do that and go through here. Maybe going through this door will reset their positions or something. And no, it won't. Blast! I am so gonna get frozen when I get up there. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. It went well! Uh, I'll go through this door. Because the other, the other thing leads to... Oh! It leads to the uh, boss room. I definitely want that, that's for sure. Now we're in a church-like area, apparently. <laughs> certainly seems like it, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, you guys going... are going down. <laughs> You know, once I'm able to attack you. <laughs> oh my god! There's so many of you! Okay, maybe... Maybe... Uh-oh. I might be in a little bit of trouble here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, the reason why I went in this little corner here is so that the other ones can't, like, attack me like so. Uh, although this one's backing off. No! Got another spear. I got myself in quite the pickle. And that, but that worked out very well. The ball and chain there. Okay. So now I... Wow! <laughs> uh, I just want to think about how to best go about doing this. Chilfos, Not very powerful alone. But in a group, they're... 
They're tough cookies. <laughs> You'll notice it's a good idea to keep these chairs over, you know, off on the side here because they kind of like, they block their shots. At least until you're ready to unleash your fury up <laughs> upon the world in a very bad way. <laughs> no! Okay, you throw your spear and you lose your spear and that makes you rather defenseless. I should be able to hit you right through that. Yeah, that works great. Maybe I should do it like that, is like hide behind these... Aha! That works great! Hide behind these things and then... Yeah! That works awesome. Woohoo! Alright! So you'll notice that there. this is the spot on the map that is marked. She better have gotten it right this time. Yeah! That's the bedroom key! Woohoo! Sweet! Ah, or is it? Actually, is there anything else on the map that I need to get? Oh, in that room. It's just below this room, actually. So I can just hop my way down there and go clear it out. At least I think so. I hope so. <laughs> that is the room with all those shelves that were all frozen over. Yeah, if I go... Oh! Where'd you come from? That's kind of spooky. Yes, I did. Uh, I got one more treasure chest to find, but... You know what? I'll, I'll do it after. Why not? <laughs> so, uh... This is the bedroom you're leading me to, right? Uh, does your husband know about this? Oh, never mind. <laughs> you can speed this up a little bit by just going on ahead of her. And, uh... What'll happen once you get here is if you press the A button to open it, it'll actually open! Even though she kind of has the key. And there she is. <laughs> She's a lot faster than she looks. Despite being a sickly old lady. Or, sickly old... Yeti. <laughs> at least at least she seems old, or maybe it's just because she's sickly that she's so slow and tired. Yeah. Alright, so in we go. Let's get that mirror shard. Please, this way. Uh. Sounds good. And there she is. Our first mirror shard. Well, technically the second. Looks like it's not going to be easy after all. As you can see, Yetta... The reason why she's sickly is because of that mirror shard. She got possessed and, you know, by that twilight energy and whatnot. And she is actually the boss of this dungeon known as Blizzetta. Oh jeez! And the whole room is frozen over, so we gotta work on off of a icy surface. Use your ball and chain and attack this humongous pot of ice over and over and over again. It's it's a lot like the mini freezers and that it bounces around the room. Ah, that works, I guess. And one more time. No! <laughs> As a matter of fact, she's got mini freezers around here. Alright, I thought it was just one more time, but whatever. Come towards me, bounce towards me. No, not good enough. No, 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 no. That's kind of hard to dodge when you're really close to it because, you know, they're all really, really close to you and they don't spread out as much then. You get the idea. Oh, shoot. Just barely missed it. And I got lucky there. Oh, I would like to get those hearts, actually. And that's it for the boss. Well, not really. <laughs>
Come on, don't be preposterous. That was way too easy. This boss is so awesome, yet so freaky, and that's kind of what makes it so awesome. <laughs> Phase two starts! Am I able to get those hearts over there? No. Watch the reflection on the floor here. And look out, because she is going to drop those ice spears on you. Well, they're more like ice weights of whatever. And there is she. Uh, she's got to drop all of them at once on me, or at least attempt to. She's going to go in a circle, and then in the center. That sucked. <laughs> you have to be a little bit prepared ahead of time by, by getting out the ball and chain, I think, if I recall correctly. This boss isn't all that hard. But it could throw you for a loop. <laughs> Maybe I should destroy some of these ahead of time. Just so that they don't get in the way. And they sort of got in the way. <laughs> so, and yeah, you want to attack Luzetta with the ball and chain. That's all you gotta do. And then they regenerate. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I gotta help, help, help. Run! <laughs> if you just circle the outside of the room, this actually isn't that big of a deal. You definitely want to destroy some of them if you can. Am I able to break my way out of here? Oh, not in time. <laughs> oh, so close to hitting her there. Too bad. This heart, I mean, this spike drops a lot of hearts, so don't worry about your health too much. Especially since you probably have that awesome soup. <laughs> Alright, I'm not, I'm not going to bother to destroy more of these pillars because they're not going to get in the way now. I just need that one gap. Can I attack you one more? Oh! I just need a single gap in between them in order to be able to dodge them. Because you can see on the floor where the hole is. And you can just run towards that and be able to dodge when she drops on top of you in the center. Because you'll, you'll notice that these uh, ice spire things, whatever the heck they are, they tend to uh, circle around you to trap you so that she can plop on top of you. But when there's a hole in there, it, it, it literally puts a hole in your plan. <laughs> Such an awesome fight. Oh, I got nicked. <laughs> Well, that seems to be the best time to get, I mean, to destroy them is when they are... No, 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 get her! Get her! Yes! The best time to destroy those things are when they're in the air and circling you. Oh, I'm so sorry, lady! I know you're not bad. You're just possessed by the twilight. And the mirror apparently was shattered and just reformed itself. I don't know when it shattered, but there you go. <laughs> Woo! And now... I gotta get that one treasure chest I missed in this dungeon. <laughs> but first, a very cute and touching scene. Indeed. Yes, we shall. Wait for it. Not the portal. Here we go. What's wrong with me? It's okay now. You're safe. Very strange. You were just dreaming. Oh. Yeto, mirror you gave. Forget mirror, Yeto. No, look into eyes of Yeto. Look in reflection of Yeto's eyes. Their true beauty. Who need mirror? My love, oh. 
Da. <laughs> that is so awesome. And there's the heart container. Bet you were wondering when that one's gonna show up, didn't you? Any ice you can pick up those hearts as well? <laughs> heart spam all over the place! Let's get them before they disappear for the fun of it. Aw, oh, I got all of them. Love you all. Oh. oh, love you too. Love you too. Oh, I kind of mispronounced that. Oh, and there's another heart. Alright, let's warp out of here because I don't think I can just use the door. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of locked in here, if I'm not mistaken. So I gotta use this to get out. And then I'm going to cut over to the room that has that treasure chest. Gotta climb through that window in that room to get over here again. Just saying. Alright. So, about the treasure chest in this room. What can I do to get it? That is the question. It... it I probably am ha I'm able oops. <laughs> I'm able to destroy one of these things here and then I'm able to jump up on one of the higher higher places by being able to destroy those things. That's just my guess. Because I'm pretty sure the treasure chest I'm looking for is at a high spot. Or wait wait wait, actually maybe not. <gasps> there it is! <laughs> I just noticed on the map it was in an alcove, not on top of anything. So it was just the red rupee. And that is literally the end of the dungeon. There's nothing more to do here. I think that's a good time to end it off then. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part.